T.J. Remembers the Mountain, A Donadan Kids Adventure, written by Laughing Woman Ashono Shinny, illustrated by Kara Barnard. Copyright 2014 by Laughing Woman Ashono Shinny. Dedicated to kids of all ages who play in the world of magic, mystery, and imagination. This is the second book in the series. Maddie's Magical Summer was the first book. And now, let's start T.J. Remembers the Mountain. Chapter 1. The Big Black Rock Fresh mountain air lifted the flap on the tent, and the morning sun warmed Maddie's face. She and Kaylee were the sleepyheads today. Dad, Mom, and T.J. were already outside at the campfire getting breakfast ready, and Maddie could hear them talking about today's plans. She rubbed her eyes a little, trying to wake up the rest of the way. She was having so much fun camping that it had been very hard to fall asleep last night. Maddie stretched a little and bumped against Kaylee, who was sound asleep next to her. Kaylee rolled over and tossed her baby hand across Maddie's face. Maddie laughed and tickled her awake until Kaylee was in full giggle and crawling out of her sleeping bag. The girls giggled their way out of the tent and across the dry grass that tickled their feet. They were ready for breakfast now. Mom and TJ had been up for a long time already. They'd gone for a hike when the sun was just coming up and found a big bunch of wild strawberries growing right beside the path. They'd eaten enough of the little berries to know they tasted delicious, and then they filled T.J.'s green baseball cap with a whole lot more. Now a bowl of berries was waiting on the table for breakfast. Maddie eyed that bowl, wondering how long it would be before she could eat some of those juicy red berries. "'Who has a dream to tell this morning?' Dad asked, bringing the big pan of scrambled eggs to the table and dishing them up for everyone. I do, I do. Maddie had almost forgotten her favorite dream from last night, but now she remembered it was there, and she knew she'd remember even more by telling it. Me too, T.J. so excited about his dream story that Maddie thought he'd burst if he didn't get to tell it first, so she sat quietly while he started to talk. I was way up on top of a mountain, and the wind was blowing from everywhere. It almost blew me over, but I held on to a big black rock. T.J.'s eyes got bigger as he spoke. I looked up and could see the sun and the moon in the sky at the same time. Then, out of nowhere, a huge hawk flew past my ear and landed on the rock right in front of my face. Maddie was quite surprised. That was her dream story. She remembered T.J. being in her dream, but how could he remember her dream when she hadn't told it yet? T.J. looked at her and grinned. You were there too, Mats. You were standing on the other side of the rock and hanging on too. That big bird looked you right in the eyes when it landed. I know, Maddie said, still not sure how her dream landed in T.J.'s dream. You do? T.J. made a face at Maddie, thinking she was teasing him. That's the same dream story I was going to tell. Maddie knew more about the dream, but she didn't know what else to say right now. Mom looked at Dad and winked. Well, it sounds to me like last night's dreams gave us our plan for today. Yep, I'm thinking so, Dad grinned back at Mom. It's up to the mountaintop for us today. Maddie and TJ looked at the mountaintop, then back at each other. It was a long way up there, and they both really, really hoped Mom and Dad were planning to drive up instead of walking. Maddie knew wishes could come true, so she closed her eyes and made a picture in her mind of their car going up the mountain with all of them in it. When she opened her eyes... T.J.'s eyes were closed, and she knew he was making the same wish. T.J. opened his eyes and grinned, leaning close to Maddie's ear. I sure hope we don't have to walk all the way up there, he whispered. 
They really wanted to know right then if their wishes would come true, but breakfast was waiting to be eaten, and both of them knew they weren't going anywhere until that was done. T.J. started gobbling his breakfast as fast as he could. Figuring the quicker breakfast was done, the faster he'd know if his wish would come true. Maddie ate very slowly, figuring if breakfast took longer, her wish would certainly come true, because there wouldn't be enough time afterwards to walk all the way up the mountain. T.J. and Maddie were grinning from ear to ear when Dad parked the car in the little turnout on the mountain road. Their wish had come true, and they were at the top of the mountain without tired legs. They hadn't even had to ask if they could go in the car. After breakfast, Dad and Mom had just started packing the car, and off they went. The wind was blowing so strong when they all got out of the car that it almost blew Maddie over. Even though she dreamed about wind almost blowing her over, she didn't know until that moment how it really felt. She kind of liked it. She felt like she could spread her arms out wide and fly right off that mountain like a great big bird. If she hadn't been holding on to her hat with both hands to keep it from flying away, she might have spread her arms and checked to see if she really could fly. Before Maddie could give that a try, T.J. found a path that went the rest of the way up to the mountain top. Now it was just a little walk instead of the huge walk it would have been from the campsite. He and Maddie ran up the path ahead of everyone else and disappeared over a little rise. And what they saw on the other side of that little rise made them both stop in mid-run, right there, sitting on the mountain top in front of them was the big black rock, exactly where it had been in their dreams. Well, I hope you've enjoyed the first few pages of T.J. Remembers the Mountain. If you would like to purchase the book, you can go to laughingwoman.com and you will find all the places it is available, including Amazon if you like those ebooks, Well, this has been T.J. Remembers the Mountain, a Donadon Kids Adventure, written by Laughing Woman Ashona Shinney, illustrated by Kara Barnard, copyright 2014 by Laughing Woman Ashona Shinney.